Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 422. Effects of stroke at the communicating arteries. One thing to note about anterior and posterior communicating arteries is that the lesions are typically aneurysms. They're not strokes, but they are saccular berry aneurysms and they can cause impingement on the cranial nerves. What is a symptom of an aneurysm at the level of anterior communicating artery? Aneurysms at the level of anterior communicating artery will lead to visual field defects. What is a symptom of aneurysms at the level of posterior communicating artery? Due to the aneurysm at posterior communicating artery would lead to cranial nerve 3 palsy, which is the oculomotor nerve. What is observed in cranial nerve 3 palsy? In cranial nerve 3 palsy, the eye is down and out with ptosis and pupil dilation. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.